So it's definitely a very challenging. Co <laughs> <laughs> um. Hold up, I want potato. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, joined here by Addy. We are in our ESCA Pro Cars because round seven is this weekend and we got thrown a huge curveball, as in jump drift curveball. If you don't know the entrance of this turn right now, then you're not a true drifter. So we are here at Maname. So let's go take a traditional course walk through the track as we do all these practice videos before we actually hit the track and uh, digress this course so of course we do have the traditional start box which are very small cones and i'm uh, gonna see a lot of people hitting those cones especially probably me so we do have a restart code there a restart line and we have a huge entry into a jump drift obviously to a wall ride which i could see a lot of people being dead to a second outer zone into a very tight inner clip which goes directly to another inner clip to a final outer zone and then they added this awesome decel zone with a nice wall ride to end the track off so it's overall is a pretty flowy track but the jump is what's going to i think kill a lot of people we ran a couple test runs on this we do have a bass tune it is actually like our tune from round six just a boost turned down because thousand horsepower on this track is not easy um if you ever tried driving this car this course with some high powered cars it's definitely not so we're gonna do some runs here try and uh, shake off some of this maname rust because yeah i don't know eddie let's see what we can do right <laughs> ready yep Overall, not too terrible of a run. Um, a little bumps on Eddie. Well, Eddie that, bit, was, but... that was, uh, other than that last zone, that was actually pretty solid. He kind of uh, looped that last zone a smidge. So, a little bit. <laughs> one thing I did, we did notice when we tested this track, we do have to do a nose to tail entry. You can't do a kind of in the pocket, side to side entry like some of the other tracks because you're on the bumps weird and it's going to cause you to very unsettle the car before you want it to. All right, let's see if I can give you a good lead. Let's do it. Oh, I pushed that way wide. All oh, the wall drags. <laughs> I was just bumping my bumper into the wall. Wall drag. That in the uh, final position. That D cell between outer zone one and outer zone two, it could be a slight D cell or it could not be. But like if you're not deep on the wall and you kind of cut that inner part little, really short, there's definitely a uh, a bit of a a collision point. I feel right here too, especially. Was a size, that was a pretty slight spicy saucy I could get my words pretty spicy run that was uh that was a pretty good lead I think yeah. I think what it's gonna have to do is you're gonna have to initiate behind them and then surge and catch up to them from outer zone one to outer zone two there's no way to really be next to them in the wall otherwise you're gonna be way too short going into outer zone two you're gonna be too shallow I feel yeah I tr I tried that on the last follow and it was oh, just oh there's a cone Oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> We're gonna go. Oh, this is bad. I also don't know how wide we're supposed to drag that out. We don't have a track map or video yet.
That's almost like a 90 degree turn. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a choke point right there if you if you hit it wrong. I feel like running that white line though kind of helped me get into that zone better. I just needed to okay. modulate my throttle better. Like it literally come out of that inner clip and that outer zone and stay out. Like stay to that far left line and try to trace that white line into that outer zone, the final one. I got bombed up. That's a choke point. <laughs> yeah, see, tracing that white line. Alright, so tracing that white I line. Need, I need to follow. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do it lead, so give me a second. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, definitely a very challenging. <laughs> um. Hold up, I want potato. <laughs> Definitely a challenging course for round seven of ESDA. So we do have qualifying this week. Hopefully it should be doing good, but. Oh my. Do not unsettle the car like that. You don't want to do a <laughs> flick entry. So like I said, we are still dialing the tune in a little bit. This tune does feel pretty good though but maybe some fine tweaking, but definitely lower the boost pressure. So we're probably at about, I'd say 800 horsepower right now. No, maybe less. 0% we're at 700. That's the way I built the engine. Yeah, dragging that white line is definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, that was a lot better on the chase. We figured that one out. So okay, now we gotta <laughs> figure out the rest of the track. So it's definitely, <laughs> like I said, a fun track. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the from the description box below. ESDA round seven is supposed to be this weekend on Sunday. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on more information if anything changes. But as of right now, we're just uh, trying to dial these cars in. That was way off. This was not yeah. would have been my first choice for bringing <laughs> these massively powered cop cars, but you know what? Gotta, gotta change it up. Gotta do a little bit of different things. So I think we're gonna do one more lead here to end this episode off. Big thank you, Daddy. Of course, always coming up with the mastermind tunes for these cars. And, uh, yeah, let's, um, <laughs> see how this round turns out. Definitely gonna be a very fun round to watch. So make sure you guys turn into Podium Esports because this run will definitely be a fun round to watch for sure. There will be definitely crash. caught in the wall so that'll do it for this episode here on the side of corsa once again make sure you follow me on social media all the transcription box below and as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track <laughs>